Welcome everyone, I'm Sasha Froyland, and today we're exploring how Hewitt Packard can achieve its strategic vision by maturing its architecture, leveraging insights from MIT's Sloan Center of Information Systems Research. In our rapidly evolving digital landscape, architecture maturity isn't just a technical necessity, it's a strategic imperative. It lays the foundation for agility, innovation, and sustained competitive advantage. The MIT Sloan CISR has identified several stages of architecture maturity that organizations progress through from siloed operations to fully integrated digital systems. Today, we'll dive deep into these stages, assess where Hewitt Packard stands, and chart a course to higher maturity levels. Welcome to our strategic session, where we are charting the course for Hewitt Packard's journey through the evolving landscape of architecture maturity. Today, our agenda will encompass a comprehensive exploration of the stages owned, outlined by MIT Sloan CISR, tailored to Hewitt Packard's trajectory and goals. We'll commence with the introduction that sets the stage for our discussion, emphasizing the critical role of architecture maturity in today's digital landscape and its impact on Hewitt Packard's rapid uh, growth and innovation potential. Following that, we'll dive into, delve into the MIT Sloan CISR architecture maturity stages, dissecting each phase to understand where we are and where we need to be. An essential aspect of our roadmap is aligning TOGAF 10 with MIT's digital ecosystem strategy. We'll interpret how TOGAF principles and methodologies synergize with our ambition to create a vibrant digital ecosystem. We will then evaluate Hewitt Packard's current position, pinpointing location between the crucial stages of optimized core and business modularity, understanding our unique challenges and strengths. The journey from transitioning from stage three to stage four is where we transform potential into action. We'll outline the imperative steps Hewitt Packard must take to enhance strategic flexibility and foster innovation. Key strategies for advancement will be our toolkit for this transformation. Here we will identify the tactics and initiatives crucial for propelling Hewitt Packard forward in the maturity model. Our implementation roadmap will provide a clear timeline of short-term actions and long-term goals, ensuring that our strategic our strategy translates into tangible progress. Recognizing the urgency to progress, we'll introduce a fast track stage four, key actions and milestones, a sprint plan that compresses our timeline without compromising the efficiency to our transition, efficacy to our transition. Learning is a continuous progress, which is why we'll study case studies, best practices, drawing valuable lessons from those who've already navigated similar journeys successfully. Aware that challenges are inevitable, we will proactively address challenges and mitigate strategies, preparing ourselves to face and overcome potential obstacles. And finally, we will conclude with the next steps, summarizing our action items and reiterating our call to all stakeholders to embark on this transformative journey. The agenda is a blueprint for our collective effort towards a future where HP is not just an industry participant, but a leading architect of the digital realm, let's begin. Architecture maturity is a critical framework for assessing how effectively an organization's IT infrastructure supports its strategic goals and operational efficiency. It's about the alignment 
of technology with business processes, ensuring they evolve cohesively towards achieving a comprehensive edge in operational excellence. The MIT Sloan Center for Information Systems Research, CISR, has developed a model outlining several stages of architecture maturity. This model serves as a guide for organizations like HP to evaluate their current state, identify areas for improvement, and strategize on advancing, advancing to higher levels of maturity. Understanding where we stand and the path to higher maturity stages is essential for driving innovation, agility, and sustained growth in today's fast-paced digital landscape. The journey through MIT Sloan's architecture maturity stages begins with siloed operations, where business units operate independently, leading to inefficiencies and redundancies. As organizations evolve to standardized technology, they start to see some harmonization of IT systems and platforms, reducing costs and improving reliability. The optimized core stage marks a significant leap focusing on streamlined processes and core systems, optimization for better performance. Today's discussion focuses on HP's journey from this stage towards business modularity, where flexibility and reusability of components allow for rapid adaption to market challenges, setting the stage for the final leap towards the digital ecosystem. In the context of MIT Sloan CISR architecture maturity stages, the digital ecosystem refers to the most advanced stage of IT's architecture maturity. It's characterized by a dynamic network of interconnected systems, services, or, and organizations that collectively function to create value. In a digital ecosystem, the organization's IT infrastructure is not only optimized internally, but is also designed to interact seamlessly with external entities such as customers, parties, suppliers, and other stakeholders. This stage is where technology enables business models that leverage external assets and capabilities, creating a platform collabor for collaboration and innovation beyond the company's traditional boundaries. It allows for the exchange of data and services, the development of new business models, and the rapid adaption to market changes through digital means. A digital ecosystem is adaptive, resilient, and can drive growth by tapping into into a wider digital economy. It represents a maturity state where an organization is not just an entry unto itself, but or entity upon itself, but a key player in the broader connected community. As companies build out their enterprise architecture, they gradually shift their investments in IT and business processes redesign. In particular, they identify where global synergies offer greater value than local autonomy. Figure one shows the relative IT investments in data, shared infrastructure, enterprise systems, and local applications in each of the four architecture stages. Optimization changes from local business solutions to enterprise-wide technical standards. When in, in stage four, the optimized core, you have standardized inter enterprise processes in data. It's important to standardize data. And then finally, in business modularity, standard interfaces and business componentization. So much more strategic and, and fewer firms get to that, that state. As companies migrate through the architecture stages, they shift from a focus on local optimization to global optimization. This evolution has important implications for organizational flexibility. Most notably through the second and third stages, companies are exchanging local flexibility for global flexibility. Figure three describes this change. Local focus shifts to global focus and control. Transitions in the enterprise architecture maturity model result from a confluence of organization needs and emerging technologies, see businesses and IS characteristics in figure four. 
Hence, the transitions reflect the co-evolution of the organization and its ISIT, and therefore the adaptability of its information systems. At a high level, an organization moves from a local to a global perspective in a continual learning process that evolves, involves significant adaptive and therefore organizational change at each stage. We now examine the applicable applicability of the three adaptive IS management principles to enterprise architecture. This slide bridges the conceptual framework of MIT Sloan CISR's digital ecosystem with the practical tools and methodologies provided by TOGAF 10. At the heart of this alignment is the principle of boundless information flow, a core objective of TOGAF that resonates with the seamless interconnectivity of a digital ecosystem. It's about dismantling the traditional barriers to information exchange enabling a fluid, dynamic, and integrated digital environment. TOGAF Architecture Development Method, or ADM, is our structured approach to creating this ecosystem. It supports the design and evolution of IT infrastructure that not only meets internal business needs, but also extends outward to interact with external digital communities. We focus particularly on three phases. In phase E, opportunities and solutions, we identify where digital technologies can create new value or enhance existing capabilities. This is where the potential for a digital ecosystem begins to take shape. Migration planning, phase F, is where we strategize the practical aspects of transitioning to advanced digital platforms. It's the blueprint where phase. Where, where we lay out the steps to bring the digital ecosystem to life. And in phase G, implementation governance, we oversee the re realization of the digital ecosystem, ensuring that the transition is smooth and that the new digital capabilities are delivering on their promise. Our architecture repository is a treasure trove of resources supporting this journey, containing reference architectures, interoperability standards, and models and patterns that drive efficiency and innovation. By leveraging TOGAF 10 within the context of the digital ecosystem, we're aiming for an interconnected, innovative future, a digital landscape where Hewitt Packard not only adapts to change, but drives it. Currently, HP is navigating the transition between optimized core and business modularity stages. This is a critical inflection point that demands a strategic approach to overcome inherent challenges such as legacy system constraints and organizational silos. The current architecture has served us well in standardizing and optimizing our core operations. However, to drive future growth and innovation, we need to embrace modularity, enabling us to respond more dynamically to business opportunities and challenges. That transition to business modularity is pivotal for HP, offering strategic flexibility and a foundation for innovation. It involves dismantling rigid structures and fostering a more agile component-based architecture. This shift requires a dual focus on technology by adopting modular platforms and microservices and on culture by promoting collaboration and continuous improvement. Our initial steps involve identifying key, key modularization opportunities within our operations and setting up cross-functional teams to spearhead these transformations. Advancing to a modular architecture necessitates a comprehensive strategy 
First, we're focusing on developing modular capabilities that can be easily reconfigured to meet changing business needs. This involves both technical investments such as in microservices and containerization and organizational changes, fostering a culture of innovation and agility. Continuous improvement practices will be embedded into our workflows, ensuring that our architecture can be can evolve in alignment with our strategic objectives. The traditional timeline is long. Our roadmap for achieving business modularity spans short to long-term actions. In the next one to two years, we'll prioritize quick wins in modularization and begin foundational work on our technical our infrastructure. Over three to five years, we aim to have established a solid modular framework with significant parts of our operations benefiting from enhanced flexibility and efficiency. Beyond five years, our vision is to operate within a digital ecosystem that extends beyond HP, leveraging partnerships and platforms that deliver unparalleled value. However, that's a long time. If we try to compress that, let's, this is what the following is. Um, as we embark on an ambitious journey of transitioning HP from stage three, to the Optima's core to stage four business modularity within an accelerated time frame of two years, it's imperative we focus on strategic priorities that will enable us to fast track this progress process. Our approach here is to structure around three pillars, rapid modularity, significant technical investment and aggressive change management. In rapid modularity is at the forefront of our strategy the essence of moving to a modular architecture lies in our ability to di dissect and rebuild our processes and systems in a way that they become more adaptable, flexible, and capable of evolving with our business needs. In the first half of year one, our goal is to conduct a comprehensive audit to identify which systems and processes are prime candidates for modularization. By Q3, we will initiate the modularization of these prioritized systems. This is not just about technology, it's about rethinking how our business operates at its core. Moving on to significant technology investment, we recognize that the backbone of modular architecture is the technology that supports it. This includes investing in microservices, cloud computing, and APIs, technologies that allow for the seamless integration and integration of modular components. These investments are crucial, not just for the infrastructure they provide, but for the agility they enable. By the end of Q3 in year one, we aim to begin these technical upgrades ensuring that by the time we launch our pilot modular projects in Q4, we have a robust platform ready to support them. However, technology and processes are only part of the equation. The true catalyst for this, for this transition is our people, which is why aggressive change management is a crucial pillar of our strategy. Starting in Q4 of year one, alongside our pilot projects, we will initiate comprehensive change management programs. These programs are designed to align our team with the new modular approach, equipping them with the tools, knowledge, and mindset needed to thrive in a more agile modular environment. This is about creating a culture of innovation where continuous improvement is part of our DNA. As we move into year two, our focus shifts to expanding modularization across the organization and integrating these modular systems into our core business processes. This year is about scaling our efforts, refining our approach based on learnings from pilot projects, and solidifying the framework of our modular architecture. By Q4 of year two, our aim is to have fully transitions to business modularity setting a new standard for how HP operates and competes in the digital age. In summary, this fast track plan is not about achieving 
a milestone in architectural maturity. It's about setting HP on a path of sustained innovation, agility, and growth. It's a comprehensive and ambitious plan, but with our collective effort, focus, and commitment, I have no doubt we'll succeed. In year two of our ambitious journey towards achieving business modularity at HP, our focus shifts towards expanding the modularization efforts across the organization and deepening the integration of modular systems into our core business processes. The first half of the year is dedicated to scaling the modular initiatives identified in the pilot year one. This phase is critical as it involves broadening the scope of modularization to encompass encompass more areas of our business, thereby enhancing our operational flexibility and responsiveness to market demands. We continue to enhance our technology infrastructure, ensuring that our systems are not only interoperable, but also agile enough to support rapid development and reconfiguration. By the third quarter, our efforts culminate in the comprehensive integration of these modular systems, marking a significant transformation in how our business operates. This period is about realizing the full potential of modularity, where systems and processes are seamlessly aligned with our strategic objectives, facilitating innovation and efficiency. We also focus on reinforcing agile practices and fostering a culture that embraces continuous improvement and collaboration. As we approach the fourth quarter, our objective is to solidify the modular architecture framework, effectively marking the completion of our transition to stage four, business modularity. This milestone signifies a pivotal moment in HP as we establish ourselves as a more agile, innovative, and resilient organization, fully capable of navigating the complexities of the digital age. By the end of year two, we expect not only to achieve operational and strategic benefits, but also set a new benchmark for excellence within our industry. Learning from others is crucial. We've studied organizations that have successfully transitioned to stage four, gleaning variable insights. For example, adopting a phased approach to modularization, prioritizing areas with the highest impact on customer experience and operational efficiency has proven effective. These case studies underscore the importance of leadership, support, clear communication, and a strong focus on talent development throughout the transformation. Some examples include Intel, Dow, Inc. Direct, and Department of the United States Air Force. Transitioning architecture maturity stages is not without its challenges. We anticipate issues such as resistance to change, integration complexities, and maintaining operational continuity. To mitigate these, we're investing in change management, upskilling programs, and robust planning to ensure smooth transitions. Collaborative problem solving and leveraging external exp expertise will also play key roles in overcoming obstacles. External expertise. In conclusion, the journey from optimized core to business modularity is not just a technical upgrade. It's a strategic evolution that positions HP for future success. By embracing modularity, we can become more agile, innovative, and capable of leading in a digital world. Our next steps involve detailed planning, stakeholder engagement, and initiating pilot projects to kickstart the transformation. Together, we'll navigate this journey, leveraging our collective expertise and determining and determination to achieve our strategic vision. In our journey through this presentation, we've navigated the essential landmarks of architecture maturity and strategic evolution tailored to HP. Starting with an introduction to the critical architecture maturity, we established the groundwork. We progressed to MIT's CISR architecture maturity stage, delineating each stage to comprehend our current 
position and the trajectory required to reach our desired state of business modularity. A significant pilot was aligning TOGAF 10 with the MIT's digital ecosystem strategy. In that slide where we, we bridge the theoretical frameworks with the practical execution plans, highlighting the synergies between the two methodologies. The, in, the, in the section for our current position, the analysis revealed HP's standing between critical stages, prompting a strategic roadmap for transitioning from stage three to stage four. This transition is crucial for the enhancing our strategic agility and innovative capabilities. We outlined in key strategies for advancement and presented an implementation roadmap providing a clear actionable path forward. The fast track to stage four key actions and milestones segment accelerated our timeline, emphasizing strategic priorities to achieve our goals more swiftly. Learning from the case studies and best practices, we absorbed lessons from industry pioneers, applying the insights to our context. Challenges and mitigation strategies prepared us for potential hurdles, equipping us with strategies to navigate them. In conclusion, we've not only outlined the next steps for HP, but also reaffirmed our commitment to a strategic evolution. This journey from optimized core to business modularity isn't merely a technological upgrade. It's a transformative leap forward towards agility, innovation, and leadership in the digital first era. Together, we're set to embark on this path, leveraging our collective expertise to realize our strategic vision. In conclusion, the journey from optimized core to business modularity is not just a technical upgrade. It's a strategic evolution that positions HP for future success. By embracing modularity, we can become more agile, innovative, and capable of leading in a digital world. Our next steps involve detailed planning, stakeholder engagement, and initiating pilot projects to kickstart the transformation. Together, we'll navigate this journey, leveraging our collective expertise and determination to achieve our strategic vision. Now I invite any questions, given this presentation is being recorded. I don't expect there'll be any. <laughs> no? Oh, good. <laughs> if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out uh, anytime. Uh, and uh, and I want to also thank uh, MIT Sloan uh, book, Enterprise Architecture Strategy, some great lessons here, and also, of course, the TOGAF 10, the open group.